how to fix checkout on Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking about order fixation on checkout in Shopify. So checkout on Shopify is an issue, okay? And most of the times it's gonna cause you errors, okay? Because recently Shopify has a lot of uh, error pickings to work with and uh, obviously it's our job to fix those checkout errors for ourselves so what we're going to be doing to fix it is we're going to go ahead and log into our Shopify and as we log in you're going to make sure to follow every single step that I give you okay now to fix your Shopify checkout page you can set it all up and you can customize the appearance of your page as well so let's get into it now so basically what you're going to do is uh, I'm gonna go into my Shopify store and once I come to my Shopify store let me uh, show you how the you know checkout page is gonna essentially look like so if I come to shopping cart uh, the checkout page as you can see pretty bland pretty uh, dirty you know I don't really like the checkout page how the vibe of the checkout page is so first of all obviously we're gonna add a product for the checkout page now as we can see the product is right over here so I'm going to come into my catalog of products. Uh, you can find your products in the home page section over here, or you can find it in different catalogs as well. Uh, if your product is not in the catalogs, obviously you can uh, come over here into the online store section. And once you go into the online store section over here, what you're going to want to do is we're going to add it into some kind of uh, section. So let's say over here, I'm going to add it into the my home page collection. Once you've added it into your home page collection, you're going to save everything. So everything is according to plan. Once you save everything, you're going to go ahead online store. Once you go on online store, you're going to go ahead and click on customize. And once you click on customize, basically from there, what's going to happen is you're going to get an option to customize your whole page. To properly, you know, go ahead with the um, working and verification process of how things work. So, basically, uh, if you could just bear with me, uh, what you're going to do is uh, go into the customization. And you can use different customizers for yourself as well. Because in most cases, the customizer that you use uh, is going to be the default Shopify customizer, right? Or the Shopify editor. Now, in my case, I'm going to be using, uh, you know, you could use PageFly. You can use uh, any other Shopify famous uh, editor. Now, the, the reason I'm going to use, you know, an editor like PageFly is because it provides really good templates for checkout pages. And you can customize those checkout pages for yourself as you like. OK, and it's as per the you know benefits of the user. It's as per whatever the user wants. And that is exactly what I'm aiming for when I come to use over here. OK. So to start things off, what you are going to do is uh, come over to your Shopify page. Uh, if your Shopify page does this 505 error, just go ahead and reload the page or re-log in. And uh, as uh, you can see, I'm going to be using the page fly builder. OK, if I come here and write page fly, it's official site for the Shopify page builder. And what this official Shopify page builder helps us do is basically here you can see start a free trial and enjoy three months of Shopify for one dollar per month. Now, basically, it gives us different templates for you know your basic uh, checkout pages, which is pretty incredible. And uh, again, I'm just gonna come to online store, and as we come in online store, you can see all these different designs. So in solutions, if I come over to templates or I go over to the use cases, we're gonna be able to see the different workings of this. And here you can see you can have landing pages, product pages, home pages. Now obviously with these pages, you can also have awareness that there will be a checkout page. And you know, a checkout page is the most important page for when it comes to working with uh, a store or a store customizer like this. So all you're gonna do is either, you know, add it to your Shopify and click on customize and it's gonna take you straight into the customization or you can stay in your page fly, explore the different templates, and uh, you can go with the templates where the best, uh, you know, you think like the best uh, of checkout pages. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go on view template. And while this loads up, you can see over here, 
uh, I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna go on pages and once you go on pages you can find the default uh, you know page that you have which is obviously your checkout page and uh, you can find your checkout right here if I click on checkout let me just wait for it to preview things uh, obviously for your checkout you are gonna need to add or feature a product into your um, product section I'm just going to go ahead and remove collection. Once you click on remove collection, you can add a product section over here. I'm going to go on add section. I'm going to go on feature product. And in the feature product, I'm just going to go ahead and select the product that my store has. And uh, you can also create a new product, which is pretty incredible. So once you've done with all of that, just go into the, as you can see this over here, I'm just, let's say I'm going to click on try this template. So it's going to take me to my Shopify and you can obviously open this app using Shopify as a page fly template. And once you've opened this app, uh, you can obviously go ahead into it's working in more great depth and detail. So I'm just going to wait for this to load up. And once it loads up, once it loads up in the dashboard, you can see over here, it gives me dashboard bfcm mastery is your store ready for shopping frenzy so i'm going to go ahead and click on manage pages once you click on manage pages i'm going to create a page from template let's say i have this home page over here right you're going to go with any page and you're going to add a product okay and you know just real quickly i'm going to go ahead and add some certain product you know let's say i'm just gonna uh add this i'm going to click on save you know you don't really need to go into great depth and detail with the editing of the products and once you've added the products i'm just going to go ahead and reload the page and uh, once you reloaded the page from there on out again just add the product straight into the design and once you've added the product straight into the design uh, what you're going to do from there is go into featured there's your product and then finally if someone you know chooses to click on this product they're going to go to the checkout page which is going to look somewhat like this okay and you can actually write over here how much of this product is in stock uh you know you can uh, add it for packaging and all that so you know really incredible really f simple and really easy stuff to work with so yeah uh basically that's pretty much about it when it comes to you know changing or customizing your page like let's say again your uh checkout page is uh working pretty well with the whole you know page flyer thing over here like uh, if i click on buy now uh, let me show you what the general outlook of the checkout page is so this is how your checkout page looks now this looks pretty nice but if you want to edit it even more uh you can go to your theme settings to actually customize it by adding different logos you can add different color schemes for yourself so you know change the background, uh, add different editing schemes and a whole lot more. So you get the whole point of it. You get the whole concept of it. Really simple, really easy. And yeah, that's essentially about it. So thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.